No. I literally just gave you something. Bugger off. Now you're just being greedy. Oh yeah, we can create the Duchy of Westphalen. That is one that we should do. And this will also give me 300 prestige. Done. And then we need to decide who in Westphalen should get that position. Uh, Voldek. Probably. Oh, we may lose our Hofgodai, though, if we do this. Oh, Kristoff is really good. Very, very well-rounded. But no, I think that this is going to go to Anunder. He's also true, he's Nether Norse. And yes, we did lose the Hofgardai. Kept the others, though. Okay, fine. And that is just one more. One easier way of keeping people happy. And he should really like us. Yeah, plus 99 relations now. So we have a very, very loyal, very, very powerful vassal. A secret exposed. A secret truth has reached the light of day. My vassal, Countess Ingledur, has copulated with her lover, Antun. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. Eh, I don't really care. Oh, that cost me? Well, wibble. Oh well. The carps. If it is a pond for carps you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. I'll give you the resources you need. It cost me 55 ducats. Um, truly the best deal you can give. 78% chance of making a good, good deal. Or stop wasting my time. Let's see if you can do better. You make a great deal. I make the greatest deals. And our court physician just got better. Excellent. We should get you married, actually. Let's see if there is anybody around... Who is good at this? Brave, calm, and chaste, but you are 70. I think that's a little too unkind. Calm, humble, gregarious. Go die, Tidmunder. I think Rogenvalder is actually better. More well rounded. Oh, was she in wrong faith? Oh, she is. The visit. I am passing through Dockham, the capital of my vassal Yard Trigvi, when I receive an invitation to visit his castle. As I arrive, he welcomes me with open arms and a tour. One thing that strikes me is the place is full of unfinished projects. Stay a while and listen. So who else of my vassals is the wrong fae? Also true, old also true. You won't convert, though. Also true. 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 Old also true. The visit. A library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place. Most notably, a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of the hallway. Um, that chest of gold is very unguarded. Now we're going to do the dining hall. We're a steward. I think I can help you out with the dining hall. 78% chance. All it needed was some dedicated attention. I soon have Yarl Trigvi's dining hall well on its way to completion. Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help out in. Um, nah, I'm going to bed. I've done enough. I spot Yarl Trigvi at the entrance, waiting to see me off in the morning. As I walk up, I hear him muttering to himself, you really fixed the place up. Ugh. After a quick goodbye, I am on the road back home again. Glad I could help. And we have a stewardship lifestyle perk. So, 
We are currently 100% avaricious, which I'm totally cool with. But... I think I would like to get better at building too. Faction created against me. Saxon also true populists. Whom we are currently working on converting. Our levies are looking pretty strong. Oh, France has uh, collapsed. It's no longer Byzantine. <laughs> it has really collapsed. Wow. Swift Train isn't your player heir, so your player's the brother anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm a little confused. Like, why is my player heir my brother, not my son? That feels really weird. I think it's the player heir is dependent on your primary title? So this does unfortunately mean that I'm going to lose the county of Holland, which is bloody annoying because it's the capital. Other vassals like him more? That's irrelevant. He's the son. I should be playing as Swift Train next. That election right now should be screwing me because they're not voting for Swift Train. But it's not, because for some reason the player heir is the brother. Well, he's... Oh, no, he doesn't have an heir. Why doesn't he have an heir? Oh, because none of these are his kids. Err. All right, so I got a blackmail hook on you now. Can I? I can imprison him and make his life miserable. Announce. Ah. Disinherits the one I want. So he is no longer in the line of succession, which means that all of this is going to Wilhelm. Boom! Okay, fixed. Thank you. Well done, chat. I don't even know if I needed to use his hook against him. I think that was just a power I had. And Trigby has now been swayed. That's good. Um, so who's next? Vigfus. You might accept. You are the ruler of Leeds. Well, I'm going to demand you convert, and if you say no, then I think I have a CB against you. See the wisdom of your faith. So he gets a weak hook on me, but he converts. I become more stressed because I'm greedy. If 
fine. Which you'll probably use to change your uh, territory rules. Which is fine, because you're not going to be my vassal for much longer. As Mittens approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. Entirely based on the heir of your highest title. If you have elective and the highest title goes to somebody else in your family, the person becomes a player heir. Gotcha. <clears throat> What did you miss in the last uh, hour? Just us sorting out our succession, really. Not a huge amount has happened. Um, we do need to be doing some more consolidation. So now that that initial problem is resolved... All of the land that I currently own is going to Wilhelm von der Peck. Because he is the only kid that I have. So... I should start working on... Revoking these titles. This will make you rise up. With other disgruntled vassals. Oh, is there anything else I could do? Well, you're only 13. How are you going to rise up? You're a 13 year old. I'm also your heir. Nine hundred prestige. Wow. Okay, that one's a bit more expensive. If you get a claim on the county, you can avoid the tyranny. I should already have a claim on the county, shouldn't I? No. However, that would be using... You... And you're currently busy converting stuff, and I kind of want to keep you converting. I think this might be a, a job for somebody younger. Well, actually, no. Because if we get Tyranny now, Tyranny is not inherited. So actually, the one who should be doing the tyrannical things are the father, so that the son doesn't have to deal with the problems. And also... Uh, Wilhelm is a fighter. So he would be better able to deal with any problems. We're an administrator. We're a steward. So it's my job to make sure that you're wealthy enough to deal with those problems. To the abhorrent king Requin, may wisdom forever elude you. Your occupation of land which rightfully belong to me can no longer be tolerated. Lotharingia declares war. And we are going to have to rally the troops. Now, this does, unfortunately, of course, mean safety helm time.
Huzzah! Circular Stream, thank you very much for the two-month primary subscription. Very much appreciate that. Is this culture Norse-Dutch or a hybrid? It is a Norse-Dutch hybrid. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to rally the troops. It is time for us to go to war. And before we do that, I just want to double-check the quality of my knights. Yeah, our knights are ridiculous. So that is going to be excellent. Let us raise the armies. Raise all here. We'll go down to speed three, so I have a chance to respond to any threats as and any threats as and when they may arise. A child of my dynasty, my daughter-in-law Una, has given birth to a daughter. Since the little one's part of the Maudling Dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. Yes, she should. And that is going to require going to our list of subscribers, which is there. Joker. JP. Okay, Joker JP. May you live to be strong and wise. Okay. Safety helm was safely put away. No, it's actually the headset that I was put away. I, I should learn. Like, when I'm doing CK3, I should just wear the, um, the ear plug things instead of the, the proper headset. It's just the headset's so much more comfortable. Um, right, so we're raising our armies. We're double-checking who we have in... Whoa. Wilhelm von der Beck has actually taken the field. Okay, before we do that... Confider, Scarred, Athletics, Berserker, Reckless, Gallant. You are a Gallant. Gallant means that you have the reduction in chance of being captured. That works for me. Okay, so we have a bloody excellent leader. So who is it we're fighting against? We're fighting against Lotharingia. And their CB is for the Kingdom of Mordheim. They have a claim on the kingdom? Actually, yes they do, because I took it from them. There's their army. Let's go and fight them. Now, preferably, we would want to take the fight to Flatlands, which is just like here. So this is going to be perfect for us. They're trying to run. I think I might try and head them off. Do not want them running away. Are we going to catch you? Not there, we're not. So in that case, I think I might just start um, sieging. Ooh, money might be a problem. Money might well be a problem here. They do not have any onagers. Mittens, the gift giver. Two amber eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a small meow breaks the silence as Mittens pounces for my ankle. She may be young, but she is nonetheless ferocious. As she prances away, I see the left of me a gleaming gift where she had been hiding. Thank you, fair lady. Yeah, neither of you have onagers, so we should, just because we started the siege earlier, take this place first. And in fact, we would take it even faster if we assigned somebody who was a siege expert. Which we don't have, so never mind. Then I think what we'll do is march all the way around to attack you. See if that provokes the Lotharingians to go and help against Brabant or not. And then hopefully from these two battles and taking the capital of Brabant, which is only Brabant. Brabant is just their, what, ally? Yeah. This isn't actually going to give me that much war score, I don't think. I might let you raid and then we're going to kill you once you finish raiding it. If you stick around. Because that means I can steal the money off of you. <laughs> I mean, that would help. That would definitely help. We may lose Hilda's in the process. Uh, 
Yeah, we probably will. But we have excellent generals, so I'm not that concerned about the, the, the quality of our combat. Are we going to catch you? Yeah, we are. It takes you a month to get back on the ships for some reason. So this should be a slaughter. Fighting on the flatlands with the Varangian Guard. We steal your money. Or rather, we steal our money back. Uh, how much should we get? Imprisoned person can be... Oh, inspired person, not imprisoned. Although, actually speaking... Ooh. Ooh. That helps. Ransom the Brabant guy. For 100 ducats. That keeps us in loot for a little bit longer. We also got a glorious victory here. We lost 50, they lost 450. They can no longer raid us. We're being raided, we're being raided. And it didn't show how much we took. Yes, it did. We recovered 69 ducats. Very nice. And we should also recover a bunch from you. We did 16. Okay, now we're going to head north. And these two are both sieging now, so hopefully they've split their forces a bit too much, allowing us to move on in. Greetings, my perceptive liege. I've arrived in Amsterdam to pay homage to you. Serve me well. Imaginary exponent has not done anything to piss me off. Unlike Afrojackon, who stole my chastity belt. A disloyal vassal. I'm poring over the ledgers that detail my income from my vassals and the numbers do not add up. The inept old Valdemar has me as a fool and has been paying too little. He is a treacherous maniac. Make him pay. There's <laughs> five ducats. 99% chance you'll pay me. Yeah, it's just because he's an idiot. That doesn't excuse him. Okay, so battle will be joined. This is in the plains, which is where we will reign supreme. Hopefully. Battle is joined. We have a plus 32. Their commander is flipping garbage and ours is amazing. Their pikemen are completely countered by the Vrangians and the Huskarls. Their armoured footmen are just outclassed. And their light foot are completely countered by my Vigmen. These guys are slightly countered, but not very much. We have a stewardship park. Nice. Let's get the professional workforce. And in fact, how are you doing? So the development here in Holland has been rising. It's now 13. I'm quite content to allow that to continue. Second army has arrived, but this just means it's going to be an even bigger, more glorious victory. <laughs> you shouldn't have gone to war with a nation that excels in fighting. Just saying. It's kind of what we do. So, Abbeville, that was the small army. That was a bit of a slaughter. And then the fight that we just did, we lost 142. They lost 1,157. A lot of this because of our champions still. And the Varangians. In fact, the Varangians carried this one. And we need to go and take Hilda's back again so that they don't have the occupations. And now I feel like we have enough money that we can just let this fight. We don't have a head of faith. Huzzah! Dark Rory one thank you very much for the Prime resubscription. Oh, Prime subscription, welcome to the Maudlings. Good to have you joining us. Hello. Edgith has become pregnant. I really need to get some onagers. Maybe after this. Mittens, the charmed vassal. As I walk outside, I'm greeted by the sight of my sister, Princess Black Wolf, crouching behind my cat Mittens, tenderly petting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lord. You are very perceptive. 
Oh, Antwerp actually rose up to fight against Lotharingia. Thanks, Antwerp. Saves me doing it, and Antwerp's actually kicking their ass. Heck yeah. Why is Antwerp fighting this? Just out of loyalty, or are you under attack? Maybe you are... Nope, I, I don't know. And it looks like you win this fight as well. Heck yeah. Go you. Except I don't get any war score for this. I was there. I'm helping. <laughs> uh, no war score gained because I didn't do any of the actual fighting. So what I could do here is go and attack their capital. How are we doing for supply? Supply we have plenty of. And they probably really, yeah, they do not have many troops left. If I absolutely needed to, I could probably send a bunch of my guys home to save some money. What's with the raid timer being in the negatives? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Gained a level of devotion, the enemy banner. The Battle of Luxembourg ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listen to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander, Prince Wilhelm von der Beck, and then turn on the soldiers. Uh, turn to the soldiers before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were clearing the battlefield. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you wish to keep it as a trophy? Absolutely. I will take the Brabanton war banner. I will display it proudly. <clears throat> Oh, I'm not hanging my own banners. Yes, I am. Uh, this would have pride of place, pride of place though, which I don't think is what I want to do. I want to have the Morton Dynasty there. Ah, there's only so many locations I see. So that's the. Where's the other one? No, oh, it's there. Okay. So modeling house is going to go there. Then I think this is going to be the Brabanton war banner. Dread gain, natural dread, and court grandeur. Yeah, it's not the best. Looks cool, though. Actually looks quite a lot cooler than mine. Can I have that shape, please? 